Toyota helped start the electrification revolution in 1997 when it introduced the hybrid powertrain and proved its viability for use in passenger vehicles. Since then, Toyota has expanded its hybrid range to include multiple vehicles that have sold millions worldwide. Today, the Toyota Hybrid System, or THS, is an evolution of that original series parallel hybrid design, where the wheels can be driven by the gas engine or the electric motor, or both, and it's been further refined to provide better performance and efficiency. Above all, THS never needs to be plugged in since it completely charges the hybrid battery via engine power or regenerative braking. Plus, its components, including the hybrid battery, have been designed with longevity, durability, and reliability in mind. To really appreciate what's happening under the hood of these vehicles and understand what makes them so efficient, you need to take a closer look at the entire process from the moment the start button is pressed. Unlike a traditional gas-powered vehicle that cranks a starter motor to get things going, a hybrid start button first powers up the system's onboard computers, the electronic control units. Like virtually all automotive systems, these ECUs operate on the 12-volt battery circuit, which also powers vehicle lighting, windows, door locks, and similar features. This explains why you'll find a typical 12-volt automotive battery on every Toyota hybrid. Once online, these ECUs check things like the hybrid battery status, engine temperature, and ambient temperature. They also manage some of the most crucial components in the vehicle, the system main relays. These relays are next in line and do the heavy lifting of sending hybrid battery power to the components that utilize high voltage and ensuring the battery power is switched on in a safe manner when the vehicle starts to avoid spiking any element of the system. For safety, if any fault or collision is detected, these relays are designed to immediately power down, isolating the hybrid battery while shutting off the high-voltage cables, which are color-coded in bright orange. Once the ECUs are up and running, the hybrid battery power is sent to the inverter converter. This device controls the high-voltage flow to and from the motor generators and the high-voltage battery and maintains the charge on the 12-volt battery any time the vehicle is running. The motor generators, as the name implies, works as both a motor, providing power when needed, or a generator to charge the hybrid battery. Each plays a critical role in how THS works. Motor Generator 1, or MG1, is located directly behind the engine and, when used as a motor, starts the engine on demand any time it's needed. Because MG1 is much more powerful than a traditional starter motor, it doesn't require a gear drive and is able to start the engine silently. This is the reason you never hear the typical starter sound on a Toyota hybrid. Once the engine is running, MG1 is used as a generator and charges the hybrid battery. A major key to how THS works is a planetary gear set that acts as a power split device. This is used like a continuously variable transmission to manage the output between the engine and the motor generator, too. Parallel power output from the engine and MG2 work together, or separately, to power the wheels when accelerating and cruising. MG2 also acts as a generator when the brakes are applied or when coasting to capture the energy from the vehicle's forward momentum and charge the hybrid battery any time the vehicle slows down. This two-motor hybrid design also takes advantage of Atkinson cycle cam timing, which essentially means the intake valves stay open slightly longer and create less pressure in the cylinders. This design makes for exceptional efficiency and low tailpipe emissions, but the trade-off is a relative lack of power. That's why it works alongside Motor Generator 2 to produce a combined pool of power helping provide both exceptional efficiency and good power response, the best of both worlds. So what if you want to make a front-wheel drive hybrid an all-wheel drive vehicle? It's surprisingly simple. Unlike traditional all-wheel drive vehicles that use a mechanical drive shaft to distribute the power from the engine out to all four wheels, Toyota engineers simply add an additional third motor generator directly to the rear, right in between the wheels. This explains why it's called Motor Generator Rear. This standalone unit has no mechanical connection to the rest of the drivetrain, 
but still helps add extra traction, capability, and power at the rear when it's needed. And like MG2, generates power for the hybrid battery when coasting or braking. So that's a quick look at the THS that's found within so many Toyota vehicles. And it's only one part of Toyota's electrification story. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series to learn more about Toyota's electrified powertrains. To explore the full electrified lineup from Toyota, visit toyota.com slash electrified. The Toyota Prius pioneered electrified mobility when it was first introduced. And today, Toyota offers an electrified vehicle to fit every consumer, including plug-in hybrid vehicles, or prime vehicles. In the previous video, we explored how the Toyota Hybrid System, or THS, works. Now let's find out how the prime powertrain functions, and how it's different from both the THS and an all-electric vehicle. Toyota's prime vehicles are plug-in hybrids that build upon the legendary THS architecture. They feature a similar layout with a gas engine up front coupled to two electric motors. Additionally, vehicles with electronic on-demand all-wheel drive add a third electric motor on the rear axle. Prime plug-in hybrid vehicles enhance the capabilities of the venerable Toyota hybrid system, resulting in improved performance. Like the standard Toyota hybrid system, Motor Generator 1 works as a starter for the engine and recharges the battery when the engine is running. Motor Generator 2, on the other hand, recharges the battery when the vehicle is coasting or during braking. It powers the wheels on its own or alongside the gasoline engine in normal driving conditions. In prime vehicles, Motor Generator 2 is also used for high-speed driving in all-electric EV mode. Finally, if equipped, Prime vehicles use motor generator rear when driving in EV mode, resulting in additional traction and power during zero emissions operation. Another major distinguishing factor in Prime vehicles is the battery, specifically its capacity. Hybrid vehicles powered by the Toyota hybrid system already use a high voltage battery pack to power their electric drive system. But Prime models have an even higher capacity battery unit that allows for their extended EV mode driving. In fact, when charged up, Prime vehicles can drive for miles up to highway speeds on electric power alone, perfect for a zero emissions daily commute. However, if the battery charge level gets low from either extended range driving or if the vehicle hasn't been plugged in, the Prime powertrain continues to operate normally. The vehicle just automatically reverts to hybrid mode instead with the gas engine coming online to support the electric drive system. This flexibility is the whole beauty of Toyota's prime plug-in hybrids. They can offer the advanced convenience of all-electric driving for shorter trips and everyday commutes, or simply operate as fuel-efficient hybrids when that EV mode isn't available. Additionally, prime vehicles aren't only about efficiency. With the added battery capacity and the electric motors working together with the gasoline engine, these are some of the quickest accelerating vehicles in the Toyota lineup. Like the Toyota Hybrid System, Prime vehicles use a high-voltage battery designed with longevity, durability, and reliability in mind. And like pure battery electric vehicles, they also include an onboard charger and a charging cable. This allows owners to simply plug the vehicle into a standard wall outlet to recharge, or a level 2 240 volt charger for quicker charge times. The onboard charger converts the incoming AC electrical current to DC current, which is what the battery uses to store power and power the electric motors. This ability to plug in enables prime vehicles to charge the battery beyond what a standard hybrid system would do through self-charging. That said, prime vehicles will still self-charge the battery when needed, just at the level to maintain hybrid operation instead of all-electric. That means the gas engine recharges the battery when needed and the vehicle goes into all-electric operation during low-speed driving, traveling downhill, or coasting, just like how the Toyota hybrid system operates. So while there are certainly benefits to plugging a prime vehicle in, it isn't required, providing peace of mind if a charger is not available. It really combines the best of an EV and a hybrid in one cleverly engineered vehicle. So that's a quick look at the plug-in hybrid powertrains inside Toyota's Prime vehicles. 
and how they build on the legendary Toyota hybrid system by adding an extra layer of capability, performance, and versatility. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series to learn more about Toyota's electrified powertrains. To explore the full electrified lineup from Toyota, visit toyota.com slash electrified. The Toyota Hybrid System revolutionized the segment when it introduced the first-generation Prius in 1997, featuring its capable and extra-efficient series parallel dual-motor design. Now, Toyota is shaking up hybrid conventions once again with its new Hybrid Max system, a single-motor parallel hybrid platform tailored for performance. Hybrid Max provides excellent power, efficiency, and a healthy dose of electrified fun to deliver next-level driving excitement. Let's take a closer look and see how this is accomplished. The Hybrid Max system starts up much like the Toyota Hybrid System, or THS, with a push-button start that fires up the onboard computers, also known as ECUs, that regulate and control the hybrid system. As we covered in our previous video in this series, this explains why you'll find a typical automotive battery on every Toyota Hybrid. These ECUs operate on this 12-volt circuit, which also powers vehicle lighting, windows, door locks, and similar features. Once all systems are online, that's when Toyota's Hybrid Max system starts to showcase what sets it apart. Unlike THS, where each motor generator has independent roles, the parallel hybrid system's single motor helps with a range of duties while getting down the road, like engine startup, energy regeneration when coasting or braking, and assisting the engine with power delivery to the wheels, making for a truly efficient setup and ultra-quiet startups. The hybrid battery, on the other hand, powers up via the system main relays, just like on THS. These send hybrid battery power to components that use high voltage, and ensure that battery power is switched on safely when starting the vehicle to avoid spiking any element of the system. If a fault or collision is detected, the system main relays power down for safety, isolating the hybrid battery while shutting off the high-voltage cables, which are color-coded in bright orange. Unlike THS that relies on a power split device to manage the output that drives the wheels, the Hybrid Max system uses a single motor generator connected to a traditional six-speed automatic transmission via a unique wet start clutch in lieu of a traditional torque converter for exceptionally responsive power delivery. A K0 clutch is also used to disconnect the engine from the transmission. Both clutches work together to allow the motor generator to start the engine, charge the battery, and power the wheels. Hybrid Max's focus on performance is most evident with the type of internal combustion engine it's paired with and how it operates. Unlike the naturally aspirated engines paired with THS, which run on the efficiency-focused Atkinson cycle, a powerful turbocharged engine operating on a conventional combustion cycle is used instead. This parallel hybrid system brings the power on from both sources nearly all the time, instead of frequently switching between the electric motor, gas engine, or a mix of both as needed, to deliver maximum performance while still offering great efficiency. As a result, drivers experience smooth, energetic performance, realizing the true power of Hybrid Max. That's not all. Toyota's new bipolar nickel metal hydride battery also plays a major role in this performance story. Unlike a traditional nickel metal hydride battery, the bipolar unit doesn't require the current to pass through terminals as it goes through every cell in the pack. This results in fewer components being used and decreased internal resistance, allowing larger electrical currents to flow through the pack, increasing overall power output and improving vehicle responsiveness. But this is only half of the Hybrid Max performance story. Power is nothing without control, and Hybrid Max delivers power to all four wheels via a new e-axle system which delivers nearly 30% more power to the rear wheels than Toyota's electronic on-demand all-wheel drive system. This new e-axle not only provides excellent traction when conditions get rough or slippery, but it's proactive, delivering power to the rear wheels as needed, even when conditions are ideal. 
By sending more power to the rear, the front tires utilize the contact patch more effectively to steer the car on the driver's intended line, delivering more precise cornering and enhancing the fun-to-drive factor that Hybrid Max is all about. So that's a close look at Toyota's Hybrid Max system and the clever engineering that elevates both efficiency and power in one incredibly fun-to-drive package. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series to learn more about Toyota's electrified powertrains. To explore the full electrified lineup from Toyota, visit toyota.com slash electrified. Since the introduction of the Prius in Japan in 1997, Toyota's hybrids have become renowned for their efficiency, pioneering electrified mobility. Through the years, new iterations of the Toyota hybrid system continue to build on a winning formula, like the Prime Plug-in Hybrid System and Hybrid Max. Now, Toyota changes the game once again with iForce Max, a hybrid system for Toyota trucks and SUVs that's been designed for towing and off-road use without sacrificing fuel efficiency. On startup, a push-button start fires up the onboard computers, also known as ECUs, which regulate and control the hybrid system. Once the ECUs are on, the system main relays ensure that the hybrid battery powers up safely and isolated in case of a fault or accident. Additionally, like all vehicles, a typical 12-volt automotive battery system is equipped on vehicles powered by iForce Max, which controls the lighting, windows, door locks, and similar features. What sets iForce Max apart is how the components are laid out. Toyota engineers placed the electric motor between the internal combustion engine and a conventional automatic transmission, allowing them to retain the rugged drivetrain components necessary for demanding towing and off-road use. Like other Toyota hybrid systems, iForce Max utilizes a motor generator that works with the internal combustion engine to drive the wheels, as well as regenerate electricity when coasting or braking for maximum efficiency. The hybrid battery system is electrically connected to the electric motor, giving it the energy needed to generate the system's incredible power, supplementing the internal combustion engine in points where it may not be at its peak output. Both sources work together to provide plenty of torque that's easily accessible, making iForce Max ideal for demanding tasks. Unlike the Toyota Hybrid System, which uses a unique continuously variable transmission, iForce Max utilizes a rugged conventional automatic transmission. This setup retains the capability and toughness to handle rigorous driving situations and the same level of gear selection control that drivers would find in a conventional drivetrain, retaining the capabilities truck owners need. Unlike other electrified all-wheel drive vehicles in Toyota's lineup, which use an electric motor to power the rear wheels, iForce Max employs a mechanical connection to link the internal combustion engine, motor generator, gearbox, and driven wheels. To achieve that, a drive shaft is utilized, enabling power to flow from the powertrain to the rear wheels. Furthermore, a two-speed transfer case with a low range is incorporated on four-wheel drive-equipped models to handle the demands of off-road use. Plus, a strong rear axle is utilized for towing and hauling. So that's a quick look at Toyota's potent iForce Max hybrid system and how it uses electrification to enhance the performance and capability of Toyota trucks and SUVs. With iForce Max, drivers can expect legendary capability backed by Toyota's reputation for quality, durability, and reliability. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series to learn more about Toyota's electrified powertrains. To explore the full electrified lineup from Toyota, visit toyota.com electrified.